Gurdishna, GK TV. So we have, so like Telugu uh, community leader, Ata, Nata, Tata, Ninchi, Marko Panibushan Gari Kurunaru. So we have uh, Dr. J.S. Patel. So he's from uh, New Jersey. So he did a lot of various, uh, like, like he's a Congress leader and also did a lot of uh, good things for the society. And also we have a uh, GVD from uh, Virginia as a community leader. So, so today's topic is like, Marko Chesi Corona, Corona, Corona. So the entire world is kind of, you know, like it's shaking the world. So it started from Wuhan, we all know that, and then how this is spreading, and especially US, right? We're all in like the US now. So US is almost like three lakhs. So like coronavirus is three lakhs. So like where we went wrong, right? We all know and that America is an advanced country. We always ahead of the thing, economically very strong, scientifically very strong. So somewhere something went wrong, and then love, love it. We see like, you know, like it's almost like a standstill, like everybody is in lockdown condition. Even now, even now, some of the states, they still did not do lockdown. Today, I said that in the CNNC, in the, like, uh, the, uh, uh, like uh, Atlanta, right? So Georgia state, they said like one of the beaches, the governor wants to open and then mayor came back and then said like, what's going on? We're not going to allow. So there's still some people are not understanding the seriousness of this, right? right. So, so, so like, uh, so, so Panigarus, like, uh, I want to see like, uh, what's your view on this? Um, definitely, uh, America reacted late and day. I'm sorry to say that. Um, as soon as, you know, they got the best intelligence in the world. They are the ones who get the uh, first information. And as soon as they get the intel information, they should have acted and stopped all the travel. I mean, they should have implemented the travel bans. And also all these kind of restrictions, uh, how it has been done in uh, India. And, and most importantly, this episode, this crisis has shown that uh, the government is not prepared with all the uh, tools they need whenever this kind of pandemic or any national emergency occurs. Yeah, I was watching uh, Italian, uh, you know, patients and their uh, healthcare facilities. Their equipment seems to be more sophisticated compared to us. And simple masks are not available. That's very strange. Definitely, definitely. Thank you, Panigaru. So, so like uh, we have uh, Jayesh Patel, sir. So, like, can you brief a uh, little bit about, you know, like from uh, like scientific background of you, this one, and we, since you are seeing the patients also. So, where do you think uh, is going wrong, and what kind of awareness you wanted to tell people, especially like you know, like some people, you know, like earlier, they said, you know, it's like only people who had uh, symptoms, only people when they cough. Only people when they sneeze, it was issue, and even the airports also they did same thing. But now it came to know that it's like even there's no symptoms, people are spreading this virus, and that's where we see lakhs and lakhs. Like no, like it's going like three hundred thousand. So like what kind of precautions they had to take? So so Dr. Uh, Jayeshwar. So I would like to say the government has uh, taken the necessary steps to prevent the spread of the virus. It has not only the impact of the health system, it is also affecting largely to a social, economic, and the uh, economy of the country to a great extent. Before taking a great step, there are a lot of other factors also comes into the uh, role. Right now, there are, it, it started originated in Wuhan, in uh, China. We had 750,000 immigrants came to USA from China between uh, December to uh, uh, February. So I think so that would have been prevented if uh, we would have uh, woke up early, but we never knew. You know, that is how the pandemic happens, uh, unfortunately. In the past, we had like two, three uh, pandemics, including, you know, MERS, Ebola. We have quite a few, and we learned a lot from them. We're not going to discuss that. But what is from like, we are at a point where 300,000 uh, people are already affected. To some extent, it is because we are very proactive and aggressive in doing the case compared to the other countries. Hence, we have a bigger number. Second thing is we have, it's a sick, and we have almost 8,000 deaths so far in all over the United States, where I practice is Jersey City. Jersey City itself has more number of patients than 23 states. Being we are very diverse and very close to New York, we are affected very gravely and uh, uh, significantly compared to any other town. We are not that big. Our county has 600,000 people, but still we are very big. 
Well, you just has three thousand critical ill patients. New Jersey has twelve hundred people on the ventilator as of uh, a couple of days ago. That means they have been come in contact with a lot of other people. They are very. It is going to continue to stay where we are right now before the curve starts uh, flattening and then going down. We need still continue to uh, remain uh, extremely cautious and uh, in helping the government for preventing the disease, helping the government, you're helping yourself, you're helping your family, you're helping the other citizens. That is uh, our uh, uh, moral and ethical duty to do it. Uh, also, we will have this go to a significant extent if we don't behave in a proper way. The people here are very vigilant compared to other countries, I tell you. I don't want to talk about Italy and the Spain and uh, Korea and uh, India. You know, India, we have only 3,000 people so far as of yesterday. You know, we have 70 deaths or 78 deaths so far, you know. But skipping those aside, you know, uh, here, we are very, very vigilant in hospitals. You know, people do talk about the PPE. PPE is not available. Where I work, we get one mask per day. Masks are ample available. Masks are available in the stores. Too. Masks are available everywhere. If anybody has an issue, they can call me and I'll get them a mask. It's, 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 it's not an issue now. We have goggles, we have a face shield, we have a suit. We've been asked to attend a video before we go and see the COVID patients. The problem is this. Prevention is better than the cure. This is what I like all of you to understand rather than going into the details which you have all have seen a video stay home stay safe um, uh, clean up your hands don't touch your face avoid uh, transportation eat vitamin c zinc healthy food adequate sleep uh, warm water gargling throw the virus out of throat and many more things been told and people are aware of it i would like to say a few things take a vitamin c in a higher higher dose take a zinc take eat adequate food and sleep enough Try to build your immunity because there is no real medicine is effective against virus. Your immunity, your own immunity is going to kill them. And there are different ways to do it and there are, we're not going to go into the treatment. So that, that, that is one thing. The second thing is, if you don't, if you fail to prevent, and if you have a COVID and you go to the hospital, hospital is not going to treat you with your expectation. Hospital has lots of patients. And hospital health worker also is very important, as you can say. And healthcare worker cannot afford to go to the room non-stop and give you the attention that you deserve. The if you have pneumonia or a heart attack or stroke, they've been sick. The nurse left and right in the rooms. Nowadays, the nurse goes with from one room to another room, so you are cross-reacted. Number one, the health work health is important. Number three is lots of uh, gathered body to go, which makes you uncomfortable too. So bottom line is, nurse will not go and keep on visiting you. They've been given a phone in the room. No family member can visit them. So you'll be out in the world alone. You'll have a one doctor visiting either lung doctor or the infection doctor. Your doctor, not everybody is going to come and talk to you. Talk, talk. So it is better not to be treated like that. And the hospitals are overburdened. There are no ventilators. That's not the issue in my hospital. Ventilators, but one hospital sensor, even a time. 85. Now it's one question, one question, Dr. Uh, Jesh. So here we're talking about the ventilator. So let's see the brief here, right? So 80% of the people who got Corona, there looks like mild symptoms, they're okay. Is that true? Yes, most okay. of them, even I could say more than 80%. Out okay. of 300,000, uh, you know, uh, if I have to guess the number, you know, maybe 30,000. Okay, you know, okay. You just, we have 35,000 affected. We have 12,000 recovered and we have 8,000 critically sick. Only 1,200 out of 3,500 are on ventilator. Correct, correct, correct. What I mean to say is here, if you see the history of the people who are going, maybe 1%, right. let's say like 1%, 2%, whatever. But in that, whoever is going to ventilator, what, right. what I heard like from the statistics, half of them are not recovering, half of them are like you know, dying. Is that true? We don't have no other number, but yes, most of them goes on the ventilator are usually elderly people with some exceptions uh, uh, the young people too and the healthcare uh, people too okay 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 so we have uh, a good number of people dying on the ventilator because of there is no real good medication available 
and to a significant extent is because of the cytokine surge which virus releases interleukin 6 which kills the lung and the heart in a way you know which i don't need to describe here there are medicines available for that which is not very effective and is effective cannot be given in every patient the people are going on ventilator are already immunocompromised or i have undergone some kind of uh, chemotherapy or some kind of uh, treatment for uh, 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 cancer or they have uncontrolled diabetes or they are elderly people or the extremes of the age you know those sort of a people are more vulnerable to go on the ventilator thank you very much jayesh garu so like also we have gbrd so like do you want to add how the situation in virginia sir uh, yes, Gopi Garu. Yeah, uh, you know, we initially we are not prepared. I know, like uh, governments are giving warning, and uh, um, you know, we never thought, like in our my entire lifetime, we never see this kind of pandemic, and uh, uh, we never uh, thought like this is going to be this virus. <laughs> Even governments, uh, uh, you know, maybe uh, they have some idea of preparation, all those things. They have been giving warnings, but we thought it, initially this is just like a regular flu. But uh, uh, our last one month, we have been uh, preparing and uh, taking personal care. So in Virginia, the situation is not that bad, but uh, uh, we are uh, following uh, social distancing, all those things. Uh, we are giving, uh, getting advices from government as, as uh, 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 experts, uh, doctors, like, uh, you know, uh, uh, people like you know the TV news, all those things. So we are trying to follow uh, as much as and most of uh, folks like we got work from home. So we have been taking care of personal things, but it is um, uh, you know things are scary. So but uh, it is the right time. We need to come together and uh, follow, uh, face this uh, uh, situation and uh, prepare for uh, you know. Uh, I think, you know, we have to take the personal care. Uh, it is nothing, you know, not only governments uh, are getting help, but uh, we are also uh, ready to prepare and uh, face the situation. Thank you very much, uh, Pani Garu. Thank you very much, Jayesh Garu. Thank you very much, uh, Jivirid Garu. The thing is like... You know, like uh, One comment. Uh, yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. Uh, uh, my wife, uh, she works as a nursing director. And, the, uh, and she keeps sharing that there is a genuine shortage of supplies. I mean, we cannot deny that fact. Right. And, um, Some uh, other and the other, other, other thing is uh, the staff is calling in. Uh, they are getting out sick and there's going to be a shortage of staff. So um, uh, Dr. Patel has given a, a great explanation about the whole situation. And thanks to him. And... Even now, we have a confused message whether the whole uh, population should wear mask or not. And I think if they introduce that one, that also would have mitigated this problem in a big way. Right. The important thing is like a very good point, Andy. So like here, like we have uh, Dr. Jayesh Patel, like that, you know, like there's so many doctors, so many nurses, they are sacrificing <clears throat> their lives and they are fighting for us, going to hospital. And then, you know, like they, 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 they their life is in danger. But at the same time, people are reckless and they're just going out and then, you know, like they're not maintaining the social distance. So we have to take this very seriously. And, you know, like it's not that like, you know, like the age, right? It's not that you know, like only above 60, right? The people yesterday I seen that, you know, like uh, the, the guy who is like 29 years old and he's going to gym, he has an excellent bodybuilder and he he's dead. And there's one other like you no know, basketball player or coach and he's like 31. He's very young, very strong. And he got this one because the moment you go to, you know, like a ventilator level, the chances are because by, by that time, your lungs are, you know, like, like severely damaged, right? And you don't have enough oxygen to get. And like, you know, like to get that, you know, like with, with the breathing issue, if you go and they try to put uh, oxygen, again, like, like some of the hospitals don't have, because the Kumo said in New York, they don't have enough uh, ventilators. So the, the caution here is the important message from doctor and other saying is like, the important thing right. is stay at home, stay at home, stay at home. Like there's so many people, they're dying for you. All you can do help is like stay where you are and try not to go. And this is not like a simple flu. But some people saying, hey, who cares? You know, it's just a flu. Nothing happens. It is not like earlier. So please, please, please stay at home and try to help. That is the major help you can do. And once again, thank you, uh, Jayesh Patelgaru for all your cautions and inputs and uh, Panigaru and G.B. Redigaru for your contributions. Well, thank you thank so you, much. Thank you, Gopigaru and uh, Gopi TV for... Uh, bringing us on the platform and thank you, uh, thank you.